2D Pocket Milling The 2D Pocket Milling job is ideal to machine simple 2D pockets. For this, we create a new job. The cycle includes three machining modes. You can choose between 2D, 3D, and stock mode. There are several things we need to define for our calculation in the 2D mode. We need a tool. In our case, an end mill, diameter 8. We also need a coordinate system and a contour that I can pick easily with the chain command. The depth and the surface of the pocket can be picked directly on the model. We calculate the cycle, so we can see the generated tool paths. Of course you can easily machine pockets with open areas as well. For this, we create a new job. Again we want to define a tool and a coordinate system. Now we pick the contour of the pocket. We can easily do that by using the chain command. We define the surface of the pocket and select the open areas by picking the curves. You can see the magenta line. That means the open contour has been detected. If I calculate the cycle now, we can see from the generated tool pass that my tool starts on the outside and works its way up into the corner. In 2D mode, all information for the cycle are taken out of the curve. In some areas, unwanted rest material can be left. In 3D mode, the 3D model is activated as a milling area. We calculate the cycle, so we can see the generated tool paths. The cycle now detects the rest material areas and machines them as well. Of course Hypermill includes a built-in feature, which detects pockets automatically. With this feature you can search for pockets on your entire model. But also individual areas can be selected, which will be recognized as a pocket. The depth, as well as open edges are recognized with this feature. Now I create a new job with feature. Of course we need a tool for this job. Also the frame is detected automatically, and as an additional option I can activate the high performance mode. Everything is set, so we can calculate the cycle. Here I can increase the step down significantly. Now we calculate the modified cycle again. A special application is the adaptive pocket. You can only choose it without the high performance mode. With this option you can machine rectangular and circular pockets perfectly. I calculate the cycle now. Hypermill is now generating the tool paths. The stock mode can be used for machining outer contours. I create a new job in my job list. This time I want to activate the stock mode. We select a tool. A bullnose end mill, diameter 16. We choose a coordinate system, and then we pick the outer contour. For this example, I have 2 mm of raw material left on the surface. I want to activate the adaptive pocket, so we get perfect tool paths from the outside to the center of the model. Additionally it is possible to fill in the tool paths. 
Now we calculate the modified cycle again to see the generated tool paths. Thank you for your attention. Thank <laughs> you.